Well, uh, Matt, you just described coming in the seventh and these guys keep fouling off pitch after pitch. I think it was something like 17 pitches to the first two batters. What was it like out there for you? Uh, I mean, coming in, you don't expect that, but uh, you just got to keep fighting and keep battling against them. And they're fouling off some good pitches, and you don't want to just leave one down the middle so they can hit it hard somewhere. So uh, I was trying to make my quality pitches, and they just kept fouling off, but I ended up getting out of the inning. Matt, obviously you've had a lot of success, and obviously what you guys did last year was, was amazing. But compare this this year, this moment, what you did today, and where it ranks this season. Is it this and what you did against Vanderbilt as far as memories for this season so far? Um, I mean, there's a lot of memories throughout the season, and uh, I think this ranks up from top. But uh, we just got to keep playing and uh, keep battling. Hey Matt, um, was this a breeze compared to Coastal last year? Uh, no, not not every uh, situation is like that. I mean, <laughs> you just gotta come in and try to do your job and limit the damage. Robert, can you just describe this weekend for you? I mean, it seemed like you were very locked in until maybe maybe the lightning delay hit. But uh, just could you speak about your offense uh, the entire weekend? Um, well, we've been working all as a team. We've all been working on our hitting and you know sometimes some people get the luck of the draw and I was, you know, I was lucky to have the opportunity to play and um, catch and hit and uh, yeah I was locked in I guess you could say um, just put some good swings on some balls and the pitchers made a couple mistakes and you gotta leave some balls up and you know the only thing you do as a hitter is try to hit the ball hard and that's what I tried to do this weekend for Robert, what was it like uh, spending, I don't know, 12, 16 hours thinking about bases loaded situations? Yeah, I knew that was going to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to um, It was funny because I actually, I was kind of wired last night, so I took a couple of um, PMs. And every time you take one of those drowsy pills, you dream a lot. And I actually had a dream that I hit a ball off the rail and they gave me a ground rule double like they did in the walker in the year. So that was actually kind of funny, but uh, you know. That didn't happen. No, I didn't happen. They went the opposite way. So. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the pitcher came in, you know, gave me a couple pitches. I was kind of anxious, you know, so I guess 16 hours got to me a little bit, but you know, it's part of the game. You know, I thought it was a ball I could handle a little bit. He threw me in a slider up and got up under my hands a little and popped it up. But uh, last couple of bats, I put a couple of swings on something. I was pretty happy. Scott, how glad are you not have to play tonight? You guys took care of business this afternoon. Well, um, I didn't dream anything about that, but <laughs> yeah, me, I think uh, having that, that game off, just some rest, and uh, the rest of the weekend. And what happened last night? What was y'all's perspective on the storm coming in? Did the power go out? Was anybody doing yeah. anything weird? Right when the power went out in the locker room, everybody went nuts, but just went pitch black. But um, other than that, yeah, I heard there was a tornado, so I was just checking my family and everything. So we're ready to play today. Cool. Scott, um, Coach Sanders called you another coach on the field a lot of times during the season in, in your effort. Um, today, just the way you went into third is kind of classic you. Just talk about the team's effort this weekend and, and how it's summed up and, and, and as, as, look, as looking back on it right now. Your thoughts about this team? Um, I think we take every every game um, like it's our last. I know we we don't take anybody lightly. We know we got a battle to win, and um, we've got a lot of guys that just are scrappy and just get down down and dirty, so that's what we did. For any of you guys, um, you kind of know that your opponent will come from a game that plays at seven tonight. Be, maybe be, is it a safe bet to say you'll be tuning into that one, see who you'll be playing next week? Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the guys, everyone's really into watching, you know, our opponents or anything. But, um, whoever it is, we're, gonna, we're all year we've always faced it as they're just another team and we're gonna have to go out and you know battle like we know how to battle, not try to be anywhere else. And so far it's worked out pretty well. Matt, can you just speak to the significance of a regional title? I mean obviously it's something that this program does a lot, but you guys are six and zero here in the national postseason and, and just picking up another championship for this program. I mean it's big, but uh, at the same time we were just trying to win and keep winning and uh, try to get that main goal at the end. 
Robert, uh, how special was this for you, especially since you had grown up near Stets and, and you pretty much uh, kicked some butt today? Yeah, um, yeah, I know. I've played with some of those guys, and I, was nice. and I actually played on Stetson's field this summer at the summer league down there, and I met the coaches there, and um, grew up with a couple of their first basemen. I grew up with him, and it's always fun. I was talking to him when he come up with that, and we're fixing to go get lunch together, and it's a lot of fun. And um, it's hard to end their season, but you know, it's still a lot of fun to see a lot of the guys there. Scott, you speculated last week that it would be, I think, quote, crazy up in here if Clemson won and if wind up being here. Do you still feel that way? And do you want Clemson? Would you rather play your rival for the right to go to one? <laughs> <laughs> sure, it would be crazy up in here. Write that down again. But, um, yeah, either team's going to be a tough team for sure. And um, you know, if we get Clemson, we get Clemson. And uh, it's going to be crazy up in here for sure. <laughs> then again. Anything else for the student athletes? Thank you.